I'm Levi Sim for PhotoFocus.com, and this morning I am in Oregon's coastal range, and I am looking for elk. I'm trying to find the Roosevelt elk. They're these beautiful animals. I'm trying to photograph them today, and I've hiked about four miles. I haven't seen any elk yet. <laughs> I've found lots of sign of elk, but the thing is, as I've been hiking these four miles, I have felt great. I haven't been feeling fatigued by my backpack, the, the weight of my backpack. And I wanted to show you this backpack. It's, it's really a, a fine bag. It's, uh, it's, the, it, it's from Atlas. And this one, I believe, is the adventurer. A um, couple of things I love about it right off the bat. It's got these two pouches on each side. Well, one on each side. And in this side, I've got, I've got my binoculars right now. But they're really, really handy. When I'm hiking along, I often keep a couple lenses one on each side, the, the lenses that I'm frequently using so that I don't have to get into my pack to, to get into things. I've also got my, uh, my platypod sitting in this side uh, right now. They're just really handy to have these pouches. I'm going to sew pouches like this onto all my bags. Maybe, maybe I can get uh, Atlas packs to make me some. Um, I've been carrying around two tripods. The camera's sitting on a tripod right now and also a tripod for a spotting scope and binoculars. I've got food, water, um, in all my pack weighs about 40 pounds and it is incredibly comfortable. It doesn't have a, a massive hip belt, but the suspension is just really good. It's what it's got. It's actually got a frame in it, which is not common in photo backpacks. And so it's got a, a frame that runs around the edge out here of the entire pack and gives it a rigid support so that all the weight sits right down on the hip belt and isn't riding on your shoulders. You buckle the hip belt, you uh, tighten up the straps, the shoulder straps, and then you pull up the load lifter straps to raise the backpack up off your shoulders. And it is just a great, great thing. And the reason that works is because you buy the bag that's the right size for you. You don't just buy one size fits all bag. You, you buy the one that's, that's the right size for your body. And I love it, I love this thing. So on this one, I can access, this back panel has my gear in it right here. I've got the 100 to 400, I've got five lenses along with me, cleaning supplies, batteries, uh, filters, all kinds of stuff in there. And it's got this really cool system up here too, where you can expand or contract the, the camera pocket. You pull up this little origami box, and now you've got more space in the top section inside the bag, which is also accessible from the back pouch. I love this thing. And, um, and so you can fit more things in the top section of your, of your main pocket. Now, for carrying other stuff, you always wanna zip these up so you don't spill. For carrying other stuff, it's got a ton of room inside it, but it's also got really generous compression straps. So, It'll go that wide all the way down, but I've never ever opened it up that big all the time. I use these compression straps to pull it down tight against my back so that it's, it's form fitting and it's sleek and it's not uh, getting caught on branches and things and, and it's not pulling me backward, which is another sense of fatigue. If, you, if you're wearing a backpack and you, you find yourself sticking your head out like a turtle, you've loaded it wrong and you've got too much weight on the outside of your, on the back side of your bag and it's pulling you back and you have to compensate by sticking your head out. So um, this bag allows me to, to control where that weight sits. I put the tripods in each side like this. I put the spotting scope in this quick access pocket on the outside, the stretchy one that also has a zippered pocket on it. Um, it's got a, a zippered ax, a, a big long zippered pocket here like that. Down inside here, it's got a laptop sleeve. And the great thing, another great thing about this bag is that it doesn't look anything like a technology bag, but it easily carries, you know, $7,000 worth of equipment between cameras and, and uh, laptops, but it doesn't do it with that typical sleeve against your back for the, for the laptop. Um, and so it, it's very secure. I've traveled a lot with this bag on airplanes and things too, traveling um, to different cities and walking around cities and I've never felt less like I look like I'm a, a photographer carrying thousands of dollars worth of stuff than when I'm using this bag 
So I, I really like that about it. Like if I was going to go backpack around Europe, this is the bag I would take for sure because it, it's so much more secure for my valuable goods. And it's got the space, it's got the, uh, the, the comfort to carry a lot of things for a long time. So I highly recommend it to you. This one, again, is the Atlas. Oh, this is the Atlee, Athlete. There's, a, there's another version too. I'll put links to those in the, in the blog post. But uh, I highly recommend checking them out. www.atlaspacks.com I think you'll like it. Let's go find some elk.